Hello there, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. And um, um, today we're going to make this project here, which is a card that I made for the Inspiration Blog Hop. Um, uh, over at, um, we have a little group of the team and we make a project once a month and do a little blog hop to showcase products from Stampin' Up. So this was my project for this month. The subject of the blog hop was embossed anniversary. Um, so you can see I made the, I Im heat embossed mine in silver and did a little greeting there. And um, just very sweet, very plain, but very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I made it. Starting off with a Whisper White card blank, as I nearly always do, and as usual the card blank measures 15 by 21 centimetres and I've scored it at 10 and a half along the 21 centimetres. If you're working in inches, it's 6 inches by 8 and a quarter and scored at 4 and an eighth. And you then need two white panels to go on there. This one is just half a centimetre smaller than the actual card blank. So my card blank measures 10 and a half by 15. So my panel is 14 and a half by 10. 10 by 14 and a half. Um, and in inches, that is five and three quarters by uh, four and, oh, hang on. I'm looking at the wrong looking at the wrong numbers sorry um so it's five and three quarters by three and seven eighths that's right and then another panel again half a centimeter or quarter of an inch smaller and this one measures 14 by nine and a half centimeters or five and a half inches by three and five eighths all the measurements will be on my blog if you have a look below and click through you can see all the measurements Okay, so how did we do it? So first of all, I'm going to put the blo the card blank and one of the white panels to one side. And I'm just going to work with this panel to start with. And the stamp set that we're working with is this one, which is actually a two box set. Oh, falling out there. Um, called Flourishing Phrases. This has been in the catalogue for yonks, actually. But I love it. It's got some really lovely sentiments and verses. And then this beautiful floral um, spray, Flourish. A nice big flower, some leaves. Really versatile set. And it comes with some um, framelits as well. Some dyes. I don't know if you can see them all there. Some really lovely floral images. It also comes with this border die, which we're going to use today on my card. I can pop that back in there because I've used it now. So first of all, I'm going to take the biggest stamp from the flourish, flourishing phrases, this big flourish, and I'm going to ink it up with Versamark. So easier to do big stamps this way round than pressing them into the stamp pad the other way round because you can see where you're going. So there we go. So into there. Oh, before I stamp it down, I've got to use my embossing buddy because we're going to be using um, embossing powder. And I'm very sticky at the moment. My fingerprints will be all over this card because it's very hot in England at the moment. I don't know if you've seen, but in the UK, we're having one of the hottest summers on record. It's been hot for about 50 days now getting a bit bored with it but I am really hot and sticky and to do videos I have to turn off my fans so I can't even keep that little bit cool there we go so we're going to print that and I'm going to print it up you can see on this one where I placed it over in the corner there so I'm just going to take my stamp and I'm going to place it there on my card that's it that's a nice image and then I'm just going to ink it up again and do part of the image on the other side so I'm just going to ink go into over to here and just ink a little bit there and I'm then going to find a piece of paper got an old piece of grid paper here that we'll, we'll use um, and my embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle embossing powder all over this. Hope that it clings to the right bits and none of the wrong bits because like I say, I'm very sticky so my fingers are a bit sweaty. So it's not ideal weather to be heat embossing actually, but hey ho. So there we go. Give it a bit of a flick. And if there are any stray, stray pieces, because even using the embossing buddy, I just come in with a little tiny thin paint brush. Can you see there? Sorry, I'm off camera a bit. Um, and just brush away those specks. 
because I like a nice clean image and I don't want any of them spoiling it. I'm just going to give it a blow to get rid of those and there we go I'm quite happy with that I can't see any other stray specks on there. I am going to put my um, powder away because otherwise that goes everywhere if you don't clear it up straight away after you've used it. So just shoot it back into the pot That bit of paper can go out and there we go. I've actually got some on my grid paper there. So I'm just going to find a tissue or a duster actually. There we go. I've got a duster here that I can sweep that away because I don't want that to get all over my project. There we go. And now I'm going to bring my heat gun in and we're going to heat and watch the magic as this changes colour. I love it. Never sees. I've been in using... Um, heat embossing for yonks for probably near nigh on 20 years and it never fails to amaze me how you apply a bit of heat and these images just change so that middle one is now changing this one let's do this one over here first needs a bit needs a bit of time to get going once it gets going can you see those images changing color really amazing really lovely make sure cards look so professional when you have these embossed images on them and there we go there we are okay it's a little tiny section at the top there where i've knocked the the powder off i think but i think that'll be all right i might put a gemstone there later on okay so that's basically our panel but actually we also need a greeting now i'm not going to use happy anniversary again like i used on this one this was designed to be a happy anniversary card i'm going to use congratulations so that this could be a wedding card um, so again i'm going to come in with the versa mark and again i'm using the congratulations from the same set as I use the happy anniversary which is another two two box set itty bitty greetings and it's got greetings for ev absolutely almost every occasion you could possibly want so um, it's a good set to have because it's if you want a particular occasion it's likely to be in there they are quite tiny though those um, greetings um, so I'm sorry I might, I might get my head in here because I need to be over it just to see where I'm going there we go hoping that's more or less straight and then a little bit more powder and oh don't put that on there need my sheet again to tap it off onto there we go and congratulations again bring the paintbrush in just get off any any stray bits shoot my embossing powder back into my pot and put that in the bin and this away we're done with all our embossing now and there we have it we just need to heat that up make sure you don't heat too much of the image that you've already embossed because if you over overheat the embossing will actually go flat again it melts back into the paper so just try and be careful that you're only heating the congratulations there we go it didn't take much to do that beautiful there we go right now what are we going to do we're going to take our panels and I'm going to mount this one onto here using a little bit of Tombow. And I've probably said to you before, but if you get too much of a splodge of this, it's quite easy to use, but sometimes even then it's a bit too much of a splodge. So I take a cocktail stick and just smooth it out around the edges of the card because I want the glue up to the edges of the card but I don't want it to all splurge out and spoil it so by doing this you smooth it out so you've got glue right up to the edges of the card but not a big blob of it that's going to splurge out um, and I don't need to worry about doing the middle ones because that's got nowhere to splurge and spoil my card so that's going to pop on my card blank like so so this is double mounted on a mat of white here so i've got one mat of white there on my bone folder just press it down so that they've got nice nice clear clean edges there otherwise some of them might stick up and then my pan my little panel is going to go on top there like that there we go There, such a simple um, technique but so effective and I love this 
um, this silver and white effect. I think I might have a go with what gold and white as well and see the effect that that has. Love this scroll stamp. Um, I think it's really dramatic and really nice. I like the detail on it. Um, I'm going to stamp it one day in, a, in clear and colour it, I think, as well. I think it would look really pretty. There we go. There we go. Just mount that on there. Um, so we've got three layers of Whisper White card there. But just gives that a nice effect, you can see. Yeah. Okay. So just make sure the sides are pressed down well okay and then we're just going to come in and this is a bit tricky because this is quite spindly so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put a bit of tombow glue onto a something clear and then i'm just going to use a sponge to put some glue on the back of my die cut And that way you get glue all along it without it being all over your fingers and without it splurging out when you stick it on your card. It's very difficult to stick some of these tiny pieces, but that way it shouldn't get glue all over your card. And that just went down the bottom just to finish it off. There, so that's my card. A congratulations card today happy anniversary card from the other day hope you like those hope you might have a go at making your own please let me know if you do and show me what you've been up to i'd love to see your creations oh i haven't put my rhinestones on <gasps> just before i go let's put a couple of rhinestones on there okay so like i said i'm actually going to put one up here because it looks to me like i've missed a bit of embossing so i'm going to take a rhinestone and put it up there and look like that was meant to be like that all along. No mistakes in crafting, just reasons to innovate. And then just scatter a few rhinestones all round here. Um, that panel's not stuck down properly. I'm going to have another go with my bone folder when I've done. Um, where else might we put one? Big one down here. Yeah, is that enough? I think it might be. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. There, all finished. I really am finished now, so I'm going to go. Hope you like those cards, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!